Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and today we have the start of a very new and exciting series of tutorials focused on the N Queens problem. This is a classic problem involving queens. It's sort of a hybrid between Sudoku and chess. Basically what we do is we take a grid, this being a very simple grid, a 4x4 grid, and placing four queens on it such that uh, no queen can uh, see the other queen in its path, horizontally, uh, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So basically no queen could ever uh, uh, capture the other queen if it was the other color in chess. So it has been proven that in an N by N board, you can place N number of queens. Uh, and uh, have a valid, find valid solutions for that, as long as the grid is as big as four or bigger. Um, so for instance, in this one, you take this queen, you'll notice in its uh, column, there's no other queen, in its row there's no other queen, and in its diagonal paths, there's no other queens. So this would be a valid solution. A second valid solution for the four by four grid would be this solution right here. Same sort of idea, and the grids obviously get more complicated with more solutions. So there are two answers solutions for a 4x4 grid, 10 for a 5x5 grid, a bunch right here, and there are only four for a 6x6 grid. So uh, the solutions don't always follow a nice linear slope. Sometimes uh, they go up and down a little bit, but in general, the bigger the grid, the more solutions there are. Uh, the main things that we want to focus on in these series of tutorials that we have not yet learned, one is hash tables. And hash tables are really important when dealing with large amounts of data. This can be seen as, for instance, if I solve an 11 by 11, it looked through um, almost 2 million positions and found uh, over 2,500 solutions. So it's dealing with a large number of solutions and it has to remember that. So basically you could think of a hash map as a super, super big array that doesn't slow down just because it's big. That would be a very elementary uh, uh, idea of it, but that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about when I say a hash map. And so in these tutorials we'll learn how to uh, create a hash map, write to a hash map, read from a hash map, search the map, all sorts of different things. And hash table, hash map, I, I use those words sometimes interchangeably, but they're, uh, they're basically the same. Uh, there's slight differences, but we won't focus on that just yet. And the second thing I would like to focus on in these tutorials is multi-threading. And basically that's like multitasking for programs. So if I go to a big grid, that's going to take it a while. You'll notice in a 16 by 16 grid, we have one thread that's constantly updating the graphics. I can flip through different uh, solutions. As you can see, there's a whack of them. Uh, it's already found 60-some uh, uh, thousand solutions. So, but at the same time, it's thinking. So one, it's looking for solutions on one thread. The other thread, it's drawing graphics. So this is a, a great example of why you would need multi-threading for any complicated program that takes time to run through different uh, procedures. So those are the, the two main things that we'll be focusing on. Uh, you'll notice uh, my solutions are fairly fast. 11 by 11 solves, uh, 12 by 12 even, they solve in very few seconds and this is largely due to the speed of a hash map over an array. So I hope that you will watch these tutorials, that you will learn something about Java and that you will have fun. Until next time, enjoy Java.